on! Listen to me, damn it! Never listen to me! Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are gonna be fucking rich, but mostly you and me. It's another wreck. It's not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes bounty on your head. But the past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Anderson Dawes is a gangster and a killer. It's not hard to piss off a man like that. Well, his loss is my gain. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. I'll toast you when I've got my fortune. Suit yourself. I'll keep a waiting for when you return. Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest, last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Khan, new orders from the captain. I know. He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be... Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me.
Passing fun. You will bet. I'll back to to you eventually. You want to braid somebody's hair? Go find Maya. I'm busy. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. Somebody blew that ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more information on the Oshinabi. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. I assume this is Khan's husband. <laughs> it's the happiest I've ever seen her. Wouldn't want to do a high G burn in one of these. It's bad enough with the juice and the cushy chair. I haven't had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked. Just in case. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and his crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge missions. Time to find the rest of the crew. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it, three days ago? Lazy Gemini. Ship's diagnostics always come back good. The Artemis isn't much to look at, but she's built to last. suit up in the prep room with everyone. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. Now, I keep my vac suit in my room. Virgil. Virgil! <sighs> Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in autodoc repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded.
This looks like the kind of job that Maya would kill for. While Miss Castillo can no doubt install a new crystal, I'm afraid we'll need a new one first. I can only imagine what ancient welding equipment the captain dug this stone out of. But we'll need a high-quality gem for surgical work. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back, and I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. Any other medic, and I'd assume he spent the day napping in this, but not this medic. We never have enough supplies, but Virgil always seems to make do. When Cox recruited me, a big selling point was the med bay and the medic. Not something you see on most scavenging ships. Should I be concerned that our medic thinks we need this many prosthetics? Does he know something I don't? I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. What's your excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow! Just let me go! It just fell, okay? What I tell you! Tinsha, you stupid prick! Quit fucking up! Hey! Boss man! Make him stop! Shut it, Okaka! Enough of this! For Lota! And you wonder why I have to treat you like Maliwala? <laughs> we got a job, Baratnas. Listen up. Nah. Fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months. And you never have to work again. He said... He said, this is the next job. And he, the boss man. <sighs> Just like Ceres. Bossing everyone around. Only this time, no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? Just do your job. Okay. Sure thing, boss man. Come on, Baratna. So far, none of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. I consider that a win. Maya is making an effort to learn some Belter words, and Arlen is... trying to help. Supplies are always tight on long jobs, but we're running low on even the basics now. Arlen is right, that Rayan can't keep his shit from breaking. It only makes my job harder. Food in the belt is never fancy. 
but my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. ETA, five minutes, drummer. Will do, boss man. Headed back to my room to suit up now. I bet she sniffs that box before she goes to bed. Somehow I am not surprised to learn that Moya keeps a copy of our ship's manual by her bedside. Maya fits in well for her first time in the belt, despite whatever philota this book taught her. I never thought I'd get along with a Martian Marine, but Maya hates the MCRN almost as much as I do. Those gave me everything. A job, a purpose, a community. Until he took it all away. Even with everything he's done to me, I would never turn Dos into UN enforcers. I took every yen I had to get off Ceres without Dawes or Star Helix noticing. Never had time for dating on Ceres. Now I've got plenty of time and no one to date. little token of my childhood on Ceres. Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Beltaloda, but you are not a traitor. You love your Bell. And right now, Bell is me. I'm busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. <laughs> Typical engineer. Smart hands. But caca for brains. <laughs> I should put you in the brig for this. You'd have to catch me first. Cutting thrust. Prepare to enter float in three, two... <laughs> uh. Come on. Let me hear it. Uh. 
You got me. <laughs> Fuck yes. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> you were kicking my ass for a minute. I thought you had me again. That was a good move. <laughs> kind of a cheap shot, though. If it was a cheap shot, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones against the ceiling. Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you, brittle bitches. Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are Holy going to- Holy shit, Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. It looks like any other moon, pale and lumpy. Don't you talk about her like that. She's a beautiful volcanic goddess. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen bulb. You mean an inner who pile-drived your ass into a ceiling, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's head out. Just remember to- Woohoo! <sighs> As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayan and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hull and shit his vac suit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it! Cool you up! Oh. Ah, airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. Table scraps. Ah! Fuck! Yo, Baratna. She's crazy. Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. Now say puke in your suit, eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick.
Enough. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone. And they left behind a big-ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging! You all have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. If I stare at these too long, I might be the one throwing up in my suit. It's not like the pirates took down some creaky old ship. This thing was practically brand new. Got an intact QPU here. Nice find. Oxygen, scrap metal, wiring. If we can use it or sell it, it goes in here. Pirates tore this place apart, but pirates aren't scavengers. Like the crew didn't surrender their heads to the pirates without a fight. Keep an eye out for trouble while you're setting up the containment vaults. You ever cut anybody's head off, Fixo? Back when you ran with Dawes? The OPA isn't a bunch of savages. We know. They still get the job done, though. Way I see it, too many Inyas walking around with their heads still on. There must have been one hell of a battle here. Hmm. Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. I agree. Maybe they were looking for something big and couldn't find it. 
left the heads to try and scare off anyone else. Or oh, maybe they were a bunch of psychotic Pashangwalas. Get your ass moving and we won't have to find out. This looks like a fabricator of some kind. Maybe for material printing? Do we? <gasps> yes! Gimme, gimme! like the officer's section is still intact. Go check it out. On it. You know the military. The brass always hoards the best shit. Hmm. <laughs> Let's hope so. Clean palladium in this recycler. Good pull, drummer. UNN officers always keep a backup water recycler for themselves. You were a UNN officer. Do you have a backup recycler for yourself? Of course not. I drink the same cloudy sludge as the rest of you. Mm-hmm. Commanders, this is Private Takabe. The pirates have asked me to report the following. All crew members, except for those barricaded in the officers' quarters, have been killed or captured. The pirates do not wish to kill anyone else. If you open the gate now and allow them to complete their search, no more lives will be lost. And if you do not comply, oh God, please don't. Arlen and Rayan's experience hauling minerals on Vesta has been a big help, even when they annoyed the hell out of me. This map would be helpful if all the pieces were still together. No such luck. I did run a phase array scan. Everything matched the LiDAR, except for one gap in the captain's quarters. I'll check it out when I get in there. Microwave energy gun. Not a bad choice for persuading someone to open a door. Skinnies. 
bigoted asshole. He still didn't deserve to die like this. Hey, Khan. You've been flying a long time. Ever seen anything like this before? Nah. But when it comes to pirates, nothing surprises me. They're all monsters. You've seen the damage they did. What do you think they were after? Could be anything. Question is, whether they found it or not. Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. Not a lot of particulates in the air filter. Virgil, how long do you think the bodies have been like this? A couple of days? That's my assumption after analyzing the footage of the heads and the remnants of the precipitating battle. What can you tell me about the heads, medically speaking? From the uniformity of the incisions, it seems clear they were done post-mortem. Very difficult to be precise if the victim is fighting back. So, about that. It's a fingerprint lock. You're going to need to find the right hand. An officer. It's the baka. Good news. The logs show that there was one out in the crew mess hall. Second Corporal Horowitz. All right. Might be difficult to get his body back to the door, though. Don't need all of them. Oh, God. Europa's Bane. Anyone heard of it? It's one of Toussaint Zapata's ships. Ah, fuck. Shoulda known. Who is that? Latest pirate flavor of the month. Led a mining strike on Europa. Stole a few ships. Now self-employed as a full-time murdering psychopath. UNN has been giving her a wide berth. If she wanted to take out this ship, it means she had a good reason. Or, she's just a murdering psychopath. Got it. Thanks. Maya, I'm in the mess hall. Time to find an officer. I've linked the personnel records to your terminal. Try scanning the bodies and see if you get a match. Looks like the crew tried to mount a defense here. For all the good it did. Those poor people. This is awful. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. Not even on series? Not even on series. Hushang. Check the shoulders. UNN officers have those fancy bars. I know pirates are vicious, but this is... 
You hear stories about people who spend too long off station. Go Big Pagal. Big Pagal? My belter is... It means really fucking crazy. This much violence seems pretty Big Pagal to me. Can you hurry up? Working on it. I wonder if Toussaint was here herself, or if she stayed back on the ship like some other captains I know. Another pirate corpse. That makes two in here. Better than none. You know anything else about this Toussaint? Where she's from? The thing about murderous rampaging pirates? They tend to be a little mysterious. This was a massacre. No other word for it. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Have you checked the ceiling? If his mag boots were off, he might have drifted. That's the one. Poor Earther. Sorry about this. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Rayan, what's happening? Uh, uh, an accident. My leg. Uh, it's the. Flota, you're the accident. Keep holding. I'll be right there. Drummer, whatever mess he's got himself into, make sure the containment vault is secure. We cannot afford to lose it. Captain, Rayan's back suit is- Not now! Drummer, get your ass over there. On my way. Hold still. We'll see what we can do. What happened? Unexploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. Pashang, you didn't scan first. Drummer, his suit is punctured and losing pressure. You need to release the vault and patch him now, or he could die. Play that. That vault has O2. Fuel, armaments. We can't afford to lose it. Send Virgil. No. I'm sorry, Van. We're going to have to remove the leg. No, no, you're crazy. 
We need these supplies to survive. I wish there was another choice. <laughs> what are you doing? Lowering the oxygen intake. It's no morphine, but it'll help. No, no, I can't. <laughs> Be strong, Papalo. You heard her, Baratna. Be strong. <laughs> 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 He's on his way, but Ray is stable and his suit is pressurizing. Your patch should hold until he's back on board. You did good, drummer. Virgil's entering your sector now. Best thing you can do is hurry up and finish the search so we can get out of here. I've made a lot of tough calls. Prioritizing supplies over Rayan's leg was one of the toughest. It was also right. OPA graffiti on the outside of the containment vault? How dumb can you get? Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. You're in. Let's see what these UNN big shots kept themselves. off for surgery. Thanks to your steady hand, the incision is well cauterized. Will he be all right? Minimal vacuum exposure and blood loss. He's a very lucky man. Thanks, Virgil. Glad you were here. They suddenly didn't give up the ship without a fight. They don't even get to finish their last words. Even with the skeleton crew, the UNN would have massively outnumbered the pirates. And still, the pirates cut right through them.
Khan, I have something for you. It's a surprise. The biggest surprise would be ten uninterrupted minutes without your voice in my ear telling me how to do my job. Can you give me that? You know, one of these nights I'm going to sneak into your quarters and smother you to death with your pillow. <laughs> Tell Arlen before you do. I bet that shithead would love to watch. You know what? Forget about the surprise. Already forgotten. What's a UNN escort ship doing alone out here? There's nothing to escort. Besides the pirates, there's no signs of ships in the vicinity. So they must have been traveling alone. Interesting. What would bring a ship so far from Earth? Something valuable that the pirates couldn't find, but you will. They torched all their data. Standard up, but unfortunate for us. This is Christian Abasarala, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against Belter hostiles. Captain, you lead a well-armed battleship against a single pirate frigate. You outnumber them five to one. I don't give half a fuck what ghost stories you have heard about this Captain Tucson. Do your fucking job. Or you can hand me your bars directly when you return to Earth to do whatever disgraced soldiers do after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abasarala. Found the captain. Well, most of him. Fucking savages. Looks like a personal key card. I should find whatever it opens. Found a key card on the captain. Not sure what it's for, though. Check his room? Maybe he has a safe somewhere that pirate scanners wouldn't have picked up. This one didn't see any other way out. I've heard some Earthers find it therapeutic to fly with something that reminds them of life at home. Plants, soil, stuffed animal carcasses. Hey Cap, you need any dead animals for your desk? Why the fuck would I? Probably still has rabies. Come on, you're an Earther. You don't want a memento of Earth and its weird mammals? Do I seem like I missed that shit planet? I've been out here for so long I wouldn't know a ferret if it bit me on the ass. I'll just leave it here. Earthers like to visit the parts of their planet that they haven't destroyed yet. I'm no art snob, but I don't think most paintings are done on iron. Maybe something good on here. Or maybe a lot of dick pics. Guess we'll see. Cap, found something that could be something. Transmitting now. Fuck. That's a lot of data. <laughs> All right. Load up the crew and head back. I'll see if there's any gold in this shit pile.
Drummer? Yeah, Boss Mang. Khan's picking up a short in the fusion coupling. She needs you to take a look. Now? Is that necessary? It is, if you want to put this wreck behind us. I'm on it. I think with a name like Artemis, we'd eventually hit our target. Despite Khan's nickname, this cannon hasn't killed anything yet. It did break up some pretty large debris, though. This is Drummer. Preparing to access the fusion coupling. Stand by. Maya. Maya. The volcano. You have to see this. Maya is everything. Sabaka! Jamming the planted cancer! This is the way of it. We all know that. Death is part of the pact we make when we venture into the belt. Drummer was one tough bitch. With her past, I figured she would survive anything. But none of us is immune to the realities of life out here. I know Kamina Drummer. And she wouldn't want us wasting our oxygen on mourning. She'd tell us to get off our asses and get to work. That's the drummer I know. She'd be looking ahead to the next score. The next burn. That's right, boss man. I keep my eyes forward. But that makes it a lot harder to watch my back. Go on, Cap. Tell them what you did. How the hell did you- Sabakawala tried to torch me. Lured me down to the thrusters, hit the engine. Play it off like it was an accident. 
I bet he was up in the bridge alone before coming down here, yeah? So what? I was setting new coordinates. How was I supposed to know you were on the hull? <laughs> you expect this crew to believe I'm dumb enough to service the engine without any communication? Now I understand. Y'all see what's happening? Drummer's making her move. I always wondered when she would. Why did you do it? Was there something on that drive I found? Can you believe this bullshit? You've been planning this since you first stepped on board this ship, haven't you? Mutinous bitch. I don't care what the rest of you think. Cap tried to kill me. Darling, Rayan. Take her down to the brig. She's gonna pay for this traitorous bullshit. Do it! Nah. I don't think so, Pampa. Damn skinnies. I should have known. Everybody stay where you are. Stand back. This is still my ship. Why don't you put that gun down, Captain? We're all crew here. We may be scavengers, but we're not criminals. We follow protocol. We solve disputes with words, not violence. That's how we keep our humanity. Give me the gun, Captain. It'll be okay. She's gonna kill me. No one is gonna kill you. I won't be so sure about that. Back off. I'm warning you all. Captain, it'll be okay if you just- Bullshit. Tell it to the skinnies, not me. You wanna see what happens to you when they're in charge of this ship? Maybe we should tell them who you really are. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Virgil, this is not your fault, but we need you now. What happened to do no harm, asshole? Are you okay? I'm good. Good. I'll man the bridge while you sort out this shit show. Just don't touch anything! I'll be right there! As soon as Dr. Dipshit here is finished. I did everything for you, drummer. I could have turned you over to Dawes a hundred times, but I didn't. Because we made a deal. A deal is dead. Oh no. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare- Take him to the airlock. Oh, no! No, drummer! No, let me go! Drummer, no! Please, drummer, no! No! Listen, come on! Yeah. Listen to me, damn it! Drummer, listen to me. The coordinates on that data drive, they're for the MK core. You've never heard of it, that's exactly my point. Look, you were right, okay? I did try and take you out. I've heard how you ungrateful fucks all talk about me. Why should I let you cash in now? But 
Really, I... I wanted the profits for myself. Because this score drummer... This is the greatest score any scavenger has ever come across. How could you possibly know that? I've been at this a long time. When there's a treasure this big, I make it my business to know about it. Look! When you find what's at the other end of those coordinates, the whole system will be on your ass. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. I'm a bastard, okay? I know. But I'm not crazy. Throw me in the brig. You'll be glad I'm still here when the time comes. Listen to me, damn it. Drummer, listen to me. Thank you, son. Ugh. Tie him up. <sighs> what now? We've been locked. Cox forgot to hide our drive signature. Hashang, of course he did. <laughs> Captain? Captain Drummer, what are your orders? Captain Drummer, what are your orders? <laughs> 